Hey, Fluff Bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I hope everybody had a happy Easter weekend. I know I did. And thank you for coming by my channel. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like you resonate with my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, even like and even share my videos. It'll really be appreciated. If you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'd love to get the positive feedback. And thank you so much for the love and support. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Thank you for the love and support. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come. And thank you once again for coming to see my video today. My video is about Twin Flame 101, Handbook and Regeneration. And today I am listening to relaxing music for meditation, calm background music for stress, relief, sleep, yoga, and massage spa. Sorry about that. I accidentally exit out on that. But yeah. I'm listening to that. I was trying to turn it down a little bit because I didn't want to be yelling over it. But yes, health is in regeneration. It's like since this retrograde going on, if we haven't had a red moon, blood moon, we had a blue moon. If we haven't had a full eclipse, we had a half eclipse. Or, you know, we got a, you know, somebody mooning something. So it's just like. Right now, it's just so many contents of videos that's just been popping up in my head and I had so many things I wanted to discuss because there's so many things that's going on. So, it's like everything that I thought I have let go or I thought I was over, there was still some residue there. <laughs> so, the universe wants to lay that all on my lap and it's like, look. You are out here helping everybody, but you can't continue to help people if you don't help yourself also. So, it's like, as I'm going, you know, like I tell you, I'm human too. You know, I don't try to sit up here and print this pretty picture like everything is perfect with me and I'm just going on about my business. Because there's days I have my downfalls too. So, you know, that's why when I make my videos, you know, I'm, I'm being straight honest with y'all, you know. I have my moments, I have my days where I draw back and I don't feel like talking to people or I don't feel like being a social social media person or whatever or, you know, be out there about mingling amongst people because it's like we all have our, you know, our, you know, our issues that we have to deal with on a daily basis. So it's like going through all this, it's like my emotions are on this all-time high. I don't know if anybody else is going through that right now, but it's just like all the stuff that I have been through, you know, since my situation or even my whole lifetime, it has really, like, showed me, like, it's true, true, true face. It really has. So, it's just, like, a lot of things that I had dwelled upon that has hurt me a lot, you know, and it's just, like, there's still things that I have to heal from because it's just, like I told you, before it's just like when we lose loved ones it's already hard where we have to get on go on with our lives without not seeing you know our mother or our father or our sister or our brother or whoever we were close to at that time but i feel like it is just so freaking hard <laughs> trying to get through certain things if you know you really don't have the answers to everything and it's just like you're you're finding bits and you know I'm finding bits and pieces of myself every day I'm finding more things about myself and more things about my dad I didn't know about that can bring up an emotional moment so it's just like a good experience even though it might be a bad one it was something I can reflect off of and say you know what this is really deep and I get it you know, and it's just like, even though it might bring some tear, you know, the waterworks to start up. And it just really made me face things, face forward. It's just like you're helping everybody else. And, you know, we have an issue with that. And I know a lot of us do. 
we can help other people with their problems but when it comes to ours we act like we're like I don't know how I'm gonna get through this but you can tell everybody else how to get through theirs and it's just like you know I'm getting through it but it's just like you know when it comes to your parents and then you you know people lying to you about your life and altering your life that is something that's really hard to get through and but that situation like I tell you all the time this situation is really make me stronger because I wouldn't be doing my videos if I did not go through what I went through so it serves a positive purpose so I just can't dwell on it as being a ne negative aspect of my life like okay you separated me and my father and my mother you know and I have siblings or whatever for the last 40 years but look at all the things you I have basically sacrificed my life and my family to help everybody else you know and I have to look at it that way because I, I you know when it's just like when us as Hayokas and we're just like you know what we didn't sign up for this I didn't sign up for this why I gotta go through this you know why do I always have to deal with these people being a-holes to me or you know I go out my way to try to help them and then this is how they show me by spitting in my face or stabbing me in my back or stuff like that but it shows us how much it, it we mirrored that point like no matter what you throw at us we're still going to keep moving we're, we're not going to give up you know we're going to keep moving and it was just like this situation has really strengthened me and it's like a regeneration it's like you know my skin is starting to peel you know at first it was like it felt like burns or whatever and I'm just scrubbing it off and next thing you know I'm starting bleeding and you know I'm having these multiple headaches because my third eye is like wide gaping open and I feel like a new person so even like when I'm listening to this music, I, I mean, I'm in tune with the music. When you start getting in line and, you know, you can look at a situation and it's like I have a lot of dark humor when it comes to the situations I've been in and people look at me like, you know, you think that's funny? I might like, know I don't think the situation is funny, but I think it's when I can look back at my situation and try to find some kind of humor out of it, like, you know what, you've been through this. You didn't make it a victim. You didn't make yourself a victim of it. You know, you, you said you're a little kumbaya yas or whatever, and you got through it. So, you know, you can sit back in a situation. It can be messed up. It, you know, you can laugh because sometimes it's a good thing to laugh to keep from crying. And just, you have to give yourself a pat on the back saying, you know what, don't be so hard on yourself because you can't get rid of the negative emotions or you can't get rid of the negative thoughts, you know, just like that can you know give yourself a pat on the back for all the things you were able to accomplish how how many things you were able to get away from because there's just like a, so many people that's been through some kind of emotional abuse and they actually said you know what i'm not gonna take it anymore i'm done you know i'm not gonna let you kick me anymore i'm not gonna let you talk to me like this anymore i'm not gonna let you put me through this anymore and go on about your business and sometimes you just got to just cut them off and don't even say anything at all because it's just like what's the point <laughs> you know they're not probably not even going to see it anyway but then you know it's just a lot of things that i've seen a lot of people i've seen a lot of bad things that i've seen about myself and certain people now i've seen a lot of good things that i've seen and a lot of certain people but the bad things is just like you know what you need to change those things because you know you can't judge somebody else about that because obviously it was brought to your attention for something for you to see that you need to change about yourself so it's like a good thing that when you're going through this regeneration and you know it's like dna cells just like wiping up it's just like you're getting becoming a new person and your thought process and your mentality and it's just the level of perception and stuff that you the way you look at things is just so different so you know you get so much clarity out of it and it's just like well I can look at some of the situations like I was hit by a drunk driver back in 2005 2006 and you know I went through hell and high water because of whoever he was related to they try to pin it on me and then I went through all these trials and tribulations because I knew there was something about myself I had to change, but there was also something in him he had to change. And then I look back at the situation, it's like, if you weren't there at that exact time, do you know that man would have died? 
because the way his car was impacted by yours, by mine actually, it actually stopped him from going over the cliff into the main highway. Even though, you know, my left side was crushed, you know, and they were just like, the police was like, you know, there had to be angels, you know, look at the other side of the car, it has handprints on it, you know, they were saying something about handprints, you know, like somebody was trying to stop the car, my car from going over the cliff and it ended up being two people dead instead of one. So it was like, it was a blessing that I was able to do that. And it's just like, you know, you had to go through this, but the positive message that I got out of that is that I actually saved a life. So it's just like, I can't look at all the things that I've been through as a negative milestone in my life. I have to look at it as a positive milestone. You know, I was brutally beat up by a cop just right after that situation because it, you know, it trailed from that to that. And I had to do like 57 days in jail for something I didn't even do. But it's just that person that did this has got on with being a crooked cop for so many years. I might have to be that person that he had to try to kill and didn't get away with it, you know, and thought I was going to do some years for it. He never got away, you know, he basically got away with it. But things have this fun way of coming back to you. When you when you go about people the wrong way, you know, I try not to get back at them, you know. Because even though this man tried to take my life and told me he was going to bury, you know, they were going to have to bury me next to my mom if they could be able to identify me. You know, and this was a cop now, and I didn't do anything to this cop. But then I had to look at it the right way. It was just like you had to be that person that he had to do that to. And you had to make an impact. And then I guess whatever story comes out of that is the next chapter of my life. But it didn't make me look at cops different because, you know, even though I've had situations even recently... I don't try to look at all cops that way because they do have good cops out there, but then there are some of them that spoils the whole bunch sometimes. But, you know, that's just about anybody. There's It can be so, so, certain cultures or certain ethnic groups, you know, and then we have these bad habits of wanting to, you know, categorize one or two people with the whole group. So, and it, it's just, you know, I have to look at things as, as we're, we're going to make it. You know, if we come together and we, you know, we start awakening and recognizing our gifts and doing and actually going for what we know. And even the things we don't know. <laughs> so I'm not trying to hold you up today. You know, I was just wondering anybody else is going through this. Are you reflecting on the things that you know you need to let go of? Things that you thought you you, you thought you were all said and done with end up facing you in your face, you know, showing a really true, ugly truth to your face and you know making you feel like you know what it's time to let that go so i'm not trying to hold you up i will keep you in my prayers and i hope you do the same please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and i hope you guys you love bugs have a blessed happy easter for whoever celebrates it or whatever you decide to celebrate on the easter sabbath day and I will talk to you later. Be safe. And I will do the same. And I will talk to you later. Even drop me a line or two. It would be greatly appreciated. Thumbs up too. Like and even share. And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be wild.